The mysterious Potomsky Crater, also known as the Eagle's Nest, was discovered 65 years ago deep within Siberia by geologist Vadim Kolpakov. The cone of this mountain of smashed limestone is 80 meters tall from its lowest point and measuring 150 meters wide. It is thought to be well over 250 years old. Although estimates differ widely, scientists previously suggested it was a slag heap, but now think there were not enough people living in the area to have created it. In the official reports, there is one single sentence aligning with the possibilities of ET influences. The idea that it could have been made by a volcano has also been floated, but none have been found nearby. An impact crater made by a meteorite is the favorite theory, but no evidence of fragments have ever been found. Intriguingly, recent investigations have stumbled upon something with a high iron content, which is currently buried over 100 meters below. The crater is curiously quoted by numerous sources as being alive and changes shape by rising and falling constantly. The trees nearby the site also reported as having grown abnormally fast. It was named Potomsky after a nearby river, and when discovered, Vadim tried, yet failed to arrange a scientific trip to examine the site. Numerous expeditions have taken place since. In one last year, samples were collected. Half a ton of samples were taken from the site and removed by helicopter. Last year, the samples led scientists to dismiss ideas of a nuclear activity, as the background radiation of the site is low and no uranium traces were detected. However, the mysterious site has not given up any meteoritic material, and the area is not thought to be volcanic. In fact, there are no volcanoes within thousands of kilometers of the Potomsky Crater, and it also seems to be relatively new. With an exhaustive half-ton of samples taken, it seems they were desperate to prove it is a meteorite impact, or maybe they were looking for traces of something else. Could it possibly be a UFO impact site? with the craft burying itself in this strange way while attempting to regain flight? Scientists now think that there is something with a high ferromagnetic content buried underneath the crater. Whatever it is, it's an incredibly dense object. Due to the evidence thus far, constantly moving geography, strange growth patterns in surrounding areas, a stuck malfunctioning interstellar craft it could indeed be. If it is an interstellar craft, it could quite possibly be unmanned, yet it's clearly still running. Interstellar travel would not be suited to organic life, so it may be a stuck craft burying itself further and further into the shattered rock like quicksand. There's definitely something weird buried in this cold and remote place. What is this strange anomaly? How did it appear in this incredibly remote section of Siberian forest? We find its possible origins highly compelling. We have, in the past, explored some truly remarkable ancient ruins that can be found within Russia. Some of the largest blocks to be found anywhere on Earth can be found within this enormous country. Along with many other intriguing and spectacular finds still left to be publicly documented, most notably within the notoriously hostile and extremely eerie Ural Mountain Range a place long rumored to be the home of the elusive Snow Yeti. Left abandoned for untold millennia, laying within a Siberian lake far from modern civilization, rests one of the most scientifically baffling sites to be found anywhere on planet Earth. Claimed to be only a mere 1300 years old, yet any compelling evidence to back up such predictable claims by certain bodies within historical academia are not forthcoming. Additionally, they harvest no real logical explanation for the site's clear antiquity, reason for abandonment, or indeed construction. It seems with very little to go on, certain groups within constrictive learning practices would like the world to believe that this perplexing site was built a mere 1,000 or so years ago. Known as Por Bajin, it is a 3.5-hectare artificial man-made island located in a remote, unnamed Siberian lake between the Sayan and Altair Ranges, about 3,800 kilometers from Moscow near the Mongolian border. The site was first discovered in 1891 
and the purpose of the island has still not been explained over a century later. It is still a mystery for, quote, experts to explain, although they still strongly insist it was constructed no more than 1400 years ago. An in-depth archaeological exploration took place in 2007, with archaeologists discovering clay tablets of human feet and faded colored drawings on the plaster. These were subsequently used to date the site to quite recently within antiquity, allowing experts to say that the island was built during the period of the Ugyur Khaganate between 744 and 840 AD. However, they severely lack any clear explanation as to what their motives would have been for constructing such a fortress, in such a solitary place so far from trading routes, their own civilization, or indeed anything else of interest. As with many other confusing and as yet unexplained ruins around the world, the archaeological strata most prefer to academia's currently upheld story in regard to chronological events will always be preferred, and the controversial and often strong evidential datings are ignored or destroyed. Is Por Bajin a far older and once far more advanced site than we are led to believe? With the advances in technology allowing us to venture further and further into the wilderness, it is only a matter of time before a self-funded, inquisitively-minded individual gets a chance to take a really good look at this amazing place. There are many places on our planet so remote or little mentioned that much of the world has never heard of said sites, and the Great Salbic Kurgan is one such example of an incredible ruin that has been largely forgotten or overlooked by modern academic study. Clearly of a Neolithic age, the thing which is most striking regarding the ruin is the sheer size of the megalithic blocks which make up the main structure. Claimed by many as the most majestic and mysterious ancient monument of southern Siberia, the mound is located in what is locally known as the so-called Siberian Valley of the Kings, where several thousand years ago, it is claimed that there existed a kingdom, one made up of a people once known as the Tagars. Thus, the age monument has been pinned on said culprits, with an age of around 2,300 to 2,500 years attributed to the site. The main earthwork is a stone square mound, 70 meters by 70 meters in size, as mentioned, huge slabs of Devonian sandstone. Some estimated as weighing as much as 50 to 70 tons were somehow once inexplicably delivered to the site from a quarry site of over 100 kilometers away found upon the banks of the Yenisei River. It is believed that it was an ancient temple, and at a later date an ancient astronomical observatory, which like most other Neolithic sites incorporates processional cycles in its alignment, showing the movement of the sun and the moon. As mentioned, it still remains a complete mystery as to what devices were once utilized for the importation and installation of these gigantic stones. At the corners and sides of the stone fences are deeply driven large meniers, all 23 stones are of an enormous sight. Measuring up to a height of 6 meters, they're clearly smoking guns flying in the face of upheld academic fallacies. The rare excavations and explorations noted as having been undertaken at the site note that before the construction of the giant earth embankment and its accompanying stone fence, there was a crypt of logs in its place, once in the form of a truncated pyramid. This whole crypt can be found inside the huge earthwork preserved beneath, untouched, yet covered with a thick layer of bark. The crypt had the height of 2.5 meters in depth of 2 meters of water covered the pit. It is claimed that around the burial zone, for a long time a strong anomaly has continually been observed. The study of these phenomena has indeed been engaged by scholars, but the pace of said explorations has been suspiciously slow-paced. Who built the Great Salbic Kurgan? How were these huge stones transported to the site and once driven into the earth at the site? What is this quote, strong anomaly? More investigation and popularization of the site is desperately needed. It is a place which we find highly compelling. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, take care.